name is Joe Kyle, VP of Strategy for NTT Data. I specialize in helping our government clients use hybrid cloud technologies to deliver services to their citizens. Every CIO I talk with is looking to use cloud technologies for everything from applications to analytics to AI. The promise of scalability, advanced security, and powerful tools is now a reality. But many of you still have questions about how to move your organizations to the cloud. That is not an easy question to answer. There are a number of barriers to cloud transformation that differ by organization. For example, a lack of cloud skills or experience, extensive technology debt that absorbs far too much of the IT budget, limiting digital transformation, complex federal funding requirements, and challenging procurement rules, just to name a few. While any one of these can be overcome, the combination of all of them can make it very difficult for CIOs to move forward with their cloud transformation strategy. Jack Nicholas changed golf by aiming for a safe part of the green rather than taking high-risk shots targeted directly at the flag on every hole. The strategy allowed him to prevent catastrophic failure and rely on his ability to execute the next shot from further away from the target. I recommend considering a similar approach to cloud transformation. Rather than taking a high-risk shot by moving your mission-critical workloads directly into the public cloud, consider building a private cloud and a robust hybrid cloud management operation around it that is within your control. Once you have developed the necessary skills, processes, and tools, you can thoughtfully evaluate your application portfolio and migrate those workloads that can thrive in the public cloud. This approach allows your employees to gain valuable experience with cloud concepts and technology without risking public cloud consumption overruns or introducing security vulnerabilities. It allows you to establish cloud management processes and tools that can be used regardless of where your workloads reside. And finally, it allows for a controlled migration to the public cloud without creating a separate operating model or risking uncontrolled cloud sprawl. Leading managed services providers can build and operate hybrid cloud infrastructure quickly and efficiently. They can bring best practices, advanced tools for things like provisioning and monitoring, and of course, deep expertise. Many MSPs also have experienced cloud advisory implementation and management capabilities that can help you assess and remediate legacy applications for cloud readiness, implement simple but robust provisioning and monitoring processes managed through a single pane of glass that will easily expand to the public cloud, it can move you to an as-a-service billing model that incorporates regular technology refreshes without requiring large capital outlays on your part. It can create management controls for financial transparency and capacity planning to control public cloud costs. And finally, it can ensure that all security controls configurations extend to the cloud and are compliant with NIST, CGIS, and other government security frameworks. This is by far the easiest question to answer. The answer is now. With a record amount of stimulus money available to states to tackle such problems as transportation, public safety, and of course, technology infrastructure, the time to act is now.